guys, today I am going to be doing Cha-Ching number 135. So we're just going to get straight into it with the first item, which was a Disney Store Elsa Snow Queen doll. This doll Eric and I actually picked up at a yard sale. We got a few of them at a yard sale the one day. I think it was three different versions of the Elsa doll that were like Disney store exclusives. I think we paid about $25 a piece for them and they all sold pretty quickly and for really good money because they were like limited edition runs. So this one here sold for $199.99. The next four, no, three items went to a subscriber named Sandra. She had purchased a Lush gift set from me for $29.99. I did get that at a yard sale of all places. I feel like I've only ever found Lush at a yard sale maybe two or three times in my life. And then she also purchased a Blossom Bucket Cat on a pumpkin that sold for $12.99 that also came from a yard sale. And funny enough, um, I went back, the lady was having another yard sale again. Uh, and I just went today and I was like, I wonder if she'll put out any more blossom buckets. And she did. So I do have two more blossom bucket pieces that I purchased from her that will be listed soon. And then Sandra also purchased this really cute ceramic uh, pony figure that had like real like rabbit fur mane um, and tail. And that sold for $19.99. And again, I'm pretty sure that I picked up at a yard sale. Uh, next item, I think Eric got this at an auction. It was a cast iron gun shell reloader that sold for $34.99. Um, sold three. I had three, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I had three, I had three of these vintage Barbie and the Rockers shirts. These were in like a children's size. I got them at a yard sale. I think I paid 50 cents a piece for them. And the person who purchased them bought all three of them for a total of $59.97. This was at the height of the Barbie movie when it came out in theaters. So I'm pretty sure that's why they purchased it for, you know, their girls to wear uh, to go to the movies. I also sold, this was a folk art piece by someone, it was signed by Robert Halleck, and it was a pig riding a cornel macabre that sold for $85. Eric and I won this at uh, one of the folk art auctions we had gone to, and I feel like this might have been one where it actually, I do believe, went to the daughter of the man who made this. So that's always awesome. I know we had sold a folk art piece that went to a family member of the person who made the item, and I'm pretty sure it was this piece. Uh, sold some Barbie stuff in this cha-ching. Again, it was around the time of when the Barbie movie was coming out in theaters. And this here was um, a Barbie fashion model collection outfit. This came from the same yard sale we picked up the Elsa dolls. I also purchased two Barbie silk stones. They were the first time ever I had ever found silk stones out in the wild. And at the time, I didn't really know the value of Barbie silk stones. So now I do. Um, and again, I think the Barbie silk stones we paid, I want to say $40 a piece for. And what this outfit in particular was just in one of the boxes and that outfit alone sold for $69.99 so that was a good score that day with dolls uh we also sold this was by someone named tony raymond it was a pottery piece shaped like an owl and it was kind of like a sewing type thing like there was a spot on its front for a pair of scissors and you could put like string in it to hold string that type of thing I feel like I say that a lot that type of thing when I'm editing my videos I hear myself saying it a lot and 
when I'm actually talking, I don't realize I'm saying it that much. So it's always funny when I edit my videos, like seriously, Michelle, quit saying that. I can't help it. Anyway, that sold for $19.99 and probably a yard sale for that or an auction. Um, next item actually came from the Goodwill. Uh, probably one of the last times that Eric and I went to Goodwill, I picked up these Camelback filters. So these are like water filters for like the Camelback, whatchamacallit. That sold for $39.99. One of the filters was even missing. It was a three pack, but there was only two in the box. Still were selling really, really well. And that was a very quick sale as well. I think I paid... I want to say $2.99 or $3.99 for the box. Uh, next I sold, this was by Alviero Martini, if I'm pronouncing that right, which I'm probably not. Uh, but it was a purse and it had like an old world looking map on it um, with the dust bag. Picked this up at a yard sale. I think I paid $5 for it and that sold for $59.99. Uh, next item also came from Goodwill during that same, <laughs> one of the last times Eric and I went there. We need to go back. Um, this here was um, like a Y2K. It was called a shake and bake alarm clock. So basically when the alarm would go off, um, the whole clock would just like shake around and vibrate and just overall be very annoying. I don't know who would want to wake up to that, but you know whatever. Again, I think it was like $3.99 or $4.99 at Goodwill and I sold it for $29.99 and again that also sold fairly quickly. Uh, the next three, whew, how many is this? Five items went to the same person. I do not believe it was a subscriber but they purchased a bunch of the Catherine Lily White Halloween ornaments that I had so I'll go over those real quick because you see them in like every single <laughs> cha-ching. Um, the first one was the candy cane, or candy cane. Yeah, I'm thinking of Christmas, Michelle. We're not even at Halloween yet. Candy corn sold for $9.99. A cat and a ghost for $9.99. A cat, ghost, and moon for $12.99. A black cat for $12.99. And some pumpkin with a crow for $12.99. Next item to go to a subscriber named Linda. She purchased a little Lefton sleeping cat figure for $12.99. This I did pick up at a yard sale. Um, the next item I do, it was a repeat buyer. I'm not entirely, I don't think that it was a subscriber. Sometimes I do get repeat buyers that aren't necessarily subscribers. They're just people who, you know, repeatedly purchase from me. Um, but I did write the name down just in case I'm wrong. Um, Shannon, she purchased seven mini ceramic Santa Claus face mugs. I had quite a few of these and I just lotted them all up. So seven all together, put them on auction and they sold for $57.50. I've been kind of compiling another lot as I find them, so I'll probably be posting another lot of those um, Santa Face mugs. I also sold a vintage Norcrest Christmas Girl for $25.49. She either came from a yard sale or an auction. Next item went to a subscriber named Lori. I picked this up at a yard sale and I have till since, what am I saying? <laughs> I haven't seen one of these before ever in my life is what I'm trying to say. It was like a wicker lidded box with these three wicker cats on top surrounding a bowl. It was so sinking cute. Um, that sold for $19.50. I think I paid a dollar for it at a yard sale. I remember the yard sale was a lady who was um, going to a retirement home. Uh, let's see. Next two, no, three items, again, went to the same person. I do not believe was a subscriber. These were three pottery pieces all by Michael and Miko Khan. I won these pieces at an auction and all of the pottery pieces had like a bug or insect on them. Just really weird, um, awesome pieces. So the first one was like a beetle bowl that sold for $39.99. The other, um, 
I don't know what bug was on this. It was some sort of insect. I'm just saying it's a bug bowl because I don't remember. Also sold for $39.99. And then the other one was a bowl that had more than one beetle on. So a beetle's bowl that sold for $49.99. I also sold a lot of four vintage shiny bright Christmas ornaments. These were all what they call UFO shaped. Those sold for $22.50. And I just kind of have been lotting up some of my older Christmas ornaments, like like ones, into lots. And I, I pick them up at yard sales as well as auctions. I also sold a Cabbage Patch Kids 25th Anniversary doll. That sold for $59.99 and I did win that at an auction. I'd say I pay, I want to say $20 for that one. I also sold a vintage dollhouse furniture piece of a wooden rocking cradle that sold for $12.99 and that came from a lot of some vintage dollhouse furniture. I won at an auction. Eric is downstairs fixing our dishwasher. It's so funny, slightly randomly off topic. Our dishwasher has been making like a beeping type noise for quite a while and it wasn't normal like it used to not do that and you know every time it would happen it would be like okay that's weird like why is the dishwasher randomly beeping well the other day it just decided not to turn on so it was giving us warning signs but we just you know ignored them until the dishwasher <laughs> no longer worked so he's down there fixing it crossing my fingers that he succeeds in fixing it he ordered a part off of amazon so if you hear him down there mumbling <laughs> or anything like that it's just a man trying to fix something okay so next item we have is one of those silkstone barbie dolls um that came from that auction no <laughs> auction yard sale that had the um alsa dolls this one here was in a beautiful blue gown. Again, like I said, I'm pretty sure we paid $40 for the Silkstone Barbie dolls, which is just insane. Um, and this one sold for $169.99. I also sold a vintage Kemp's Dairy ice cream scoop for $29.99. I picked this up at a yard sale. I'm pretty sure I paid $0.10 cents for it. Um, there's a lot of people out there who not only collect old ice cream scoopers, I know, weird, it's a thing, um, but also just vintage advertising pieces in general. Kind of goes along with the next thing. This, the same, this isn't the same person that bought the ice cream scooper, but we sold a lot of five um, Bressler's ice cream cups. These sold for $9.99. Um, these came from an auction. Eric got like literal bags of these. And I figured they were going to be very slow sellers. And they are. But I mean he was paying like a dollar for like a huge bag of them. So and we have sold a few lots already before. So they are going just like I said not quickly which I figured they wouldn't. Um, I sold a Versace perfume. This was called Versense. That sold for $29.99. Pretty sure that was from a yard sale, and I'm going to say $5 that I paid for that. Um, next was a painted blue heron bird on a piece of driftwood. That sold for $19.99. I feel like that um, also came from an auction, I want to say. Uh, next item also went to a subscriber named Linda. This was for a vintage Christmas tree skirt that sold for $42.77. And I'm pretty sure that came from a yard sale. Next item was for a Bakelite cat crib toy. This we won at an auction along with two other, no, one other, I think it was just one other Bakelite um, crib toys and these can sell really well this one sold for $99.99 um I'm trying to think of what we paid for it I want to say it was around the 30-ish dollar range um but I knew the cat was a good one so the other one still hasn't sold yet but it was kind of boring it was just 
<laughs> like a string with like Bakelite beads on it. Uh, next we have a lot of eight Furbies. These all came from a yard sale. So we listed them all together as a lot. Eric tested every single one. He had so much fun that day testing Furbies. He's freaked out by Furbies. I don't know. I I used to have a Furby when I was younger and it, it never freaked me out. I thought it was cute. It was a little weird, I guess, but you know. Anyway, a lot of eight Furbies sold for $124.99. I think we were paying $4 a Furby. Um, also sold another Barbie doll. Again, like I said, Barbie movie. This one was a vintage Barb Camp Barbie doll. That sold for $69.99, still sealed in its original box. And that came from a yard sale, and I'm pretty sure I paid $8 for it. Funny enough, that was the same yard sale where I purchased a bunch of Polly Pockets from a lady. And it's the same lady that, like, I've been buying more vintage toys from and that I pretty much see every single week because Eric and I go over to her house and help her out. Um... And just recently, I purchased all of her My Little Ponies. I think we paid, I want to say, $700 for all of her My Little Ponies. But you guys, I am talking totes upon totes upon totes upon totes of ponies. Um, all of the play sets still with their boxes. The Pony Estates play set, I had that one when I was younger. It's huge. Um, there were two ponies that are still in their packagings, like, harder to find ponies, like, it's just, it's insane, and I can't wait to go through them all, I haven't, I haven't done that, I, like, popped the tops off lids and, like, took some pictures so I can, like, just look and see, and I'm really thrilled with everything, so I can't wait to get them listed, but it's going to be, gonna be a while. <laughs> All right, so next we have a, this was a vintage plastic chapel music box that sold for $19.99 and I feel like that came on a tray of some stuff that we won at an auction. Next item also came from an auction. This was for a Shelly England teacup and saucer uh, that sold for $66.95. I'm pretty sure I paid maybe 4 or $5 for it. Um, a lot of the times, like, teacups and saucers will come up at auction. And I'll look up some of them because, obviously, not all teacups and saucers are created equal. There's some really good, high-valued ones out there. And this one was a pretty decent one. So I'm glad I took the time to look that one up. I also sold, this was brand new, still in the packaging. This was an LOL doll. It was called Winter, the Winter Disco Doll. Got this at a yard sale. I think I paid $25 for it at the yard sale. And that sold for $149.99, which is really surprising considering it's, you know, the LOL dolls are more of a newer doll. They're not, you know, at this point vintage or anything like that. Um, and it, like a fun the funny thing to me anyway is that, you know, people buy a lot of toys uh, like at Walmart on clearance and then, you know, resell them at yard sales and that type of thing. I, see, I, I caught myself saying it that time. <laughs> anyway, how many times did I say it since the last time I pointed that out? So now you guys are probably going to be fixated on that. So I apologize in advance. So people buy the Walmart <laughs> clearance toys and then resell them, you know, at yard sales. And, you know, right away, like the toys, I mean, people will buy them for like Christmas and, and that type of thing. <laughs> but, um, you know, as the years go by and like toys aren't like selling at the yard sale, but they put them out every year, like eventually. <laughs> It might be worth something so it was kind of like that I feel like they had that doll the year prior but no one bought it um, and then I picked it up the next the following year and it ended up being worth a decent amount anyway next was a ghost face scream mask I picked this up at a yard sale uh, unfortunately whoever owned this like cut out the eyeballs I don't know why uh, but I'm pretty sure I only paid 50 cents for it and it still did sell because these things are hot People are always buying these ghost face scream masks. We all know it's a bolo The ones with the cotton shrouds are worth 
the most. Um, this one didn't have the cotton shroud, I don't believe. But anyway, it sold for $29.99. I also sold a vintage Atlantic Mold Winking Santa. So this is like one of those pieces someone hand painted. They did a really good job. I did get this at a yard sale and this was an item that someone actually did a local pickup on. So we didn't have to ship it. We just met up with them at the convenience store parking lot and exchanged there and we have done local pickups off ebay um, quite a few times and they're just really easy peasy so if anyone asks to do a local pickup we always say yes um let's see i also sold a head planter vase this was by avis wright that sold for 29 dollars and 99 cents and this came from an auction but i can't remember if i want it with something else or by itself I also sold a vintage dragon, like tribal dragon long sleeve shirt. This came from a yard sale. Definitely Y2K vibes on this. And that sold for $49.99. And I think I paid $2 for it at a yard sale. I sold a, this was from 1981. It was a Christmas ornament shaped like a book. And it was Christmas around the world recipe book basically so it had different recipes on it in it I should say um of different recipes from around the world that sold for five dollars and 99 cents it was in a bag of some Christmas stuff that I had purchased at a yard sale and when I looked it up they were selling and so I just listed it it's not a lot but you know I was just parting out the the ornament bag that I won Eric won this set at an auction. It was by someone named Kuhn Icon, if I'm pronouncing that right. It was a mini salt, pepper, and I think a, like an oil vinegar cruet set. Uh, brand new. That sold for $29.99. Uh, this next item also came from Goodwill. Last time we had gone there, this was for a beautiful art glass vase signed by Zach Gorell. That sold for $99.99 and I feel like we paid six or seven dollars for it. Um, also sold a Halloween themed cake stand. It had bats around it. So super cute. Bats and stars. That sold for $49.99 and that came from a yard sale. Also sold a Mexican wooden folk art bug for $29.99 that came from the folk art auction. And then the last thing that I have was for a vintage aftershave called the Devil's Potion. Um, really quite cool. Pick this up at a yard sale. It sold for $49.99. So as far as eBay goes, last 31 days, I am down 23.4%. I don't know what's going on, guys. How is eBay going for you? Are you still seeing a slump in sales? I feel like, okay, this is towards the end of October now we're at, and I feel like we should have picked up pretty well by now, and we're going into November, and... <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like sales are a little on the slumpy side, which, you know, I obviously we have absolutely no real control over it. So it's not much we can really do about it. I don't really know exactly why if people just aren't, um, ooh, <laughs> as I'm saying, oh, my sales are down and I get a cha-ching. Uh, hold on. Let me see what that is. Great news. Your item sold. Um, I sold a Josie Marin body butter. Awesome. Okay, it was $19.99. I will take any sale I can get right now. <laughs> Need those sales. Um, so, but yeah, I do, I do, I mean, it's obvious. Sales, sales are down. I told you I'm down 23.4%. Um, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. I just figured by, you know, we're getting towards the end of the year. Christmas is coming. Sales will pick up. So hopefully come November, we're seeing a little bit more of a, more of an uptick. Um, Eric and I, we haven't, you know, obviously moved into the antique booth yet. Um, like I said, they were saying around the November 1st area, but it could be, they said it could be earlier. It could be a little later as they're, you know, sick and 
aren't sure if they're going to be able to get out right away. Um, so, you know, I will let you guys know, like, when we actually are starting to <laughs> uh, load up our booth and everything like that. Still really excited about it. Um, we've been tagging some things, pricing some things. Um, and just kind of right now, figuring out one of like the hardest things that I am noticing right now is just the trying to figure out if like it's something I want to put on eBay or if I want to put it in the booth. Because obviously there's going to be some things that are just going to garner more money on eBay. And obviously you have a larger audience on eBay to you know purchase those things so as of right now we're focusing on a lot of like christmas things we want a lot of christmas stuff in the booth um like i said because if we get into get into it in november then you know all the shoppers can have november till you know december to buy um christmas items uh the outdoor antique flea market that I had been talking about that was kind of up in the air last time I had mentioned it. Eric and I did not go to it unfortunately. Um, he still has a little bit of a cough. It's not it's not like real bad um, but the weather was calling for really high wind gusts and we had a lot of blow molds and we were going to take two aluminum pom-pom Christmas trees and we did not want those flying around the parking lot so we decided against it and it did get really really windy today we had some pretty gnarly wind gusts and then a little bit of some rain came through as well so it is upsetting because we wanted to do it and we were you know prepared we bought stuff to do it so you know hopefully we get a chance at some point but also with the fact that we did find out that we were getting a booth too, it just felt like we were doing double the work because at the time we were tagging for the flea market, we didn't know that we had a booth and we didn't, you know, obviously have our, what would be like our booth um, numbers and stuff like that. So the stuff that we did tag for the market all has to be re-tagged now. So it's just, it's like du <laughs> double the work and that type of thing. So, um, you know, we obviously didn't get there. So we're going to try again though, at some point, probably, um, this one was for the, the last one for the year, but, um, come spring, they'll have one. Um, and you know, they'll start up again next year. I also just wanted to mention, <laughs> I don't know if you can see behind me real well. Oh, Amelia, it's okay. Um, I will be having a whatnot show on Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And it's going to be a beauty show this time around. Um, oh my gosh, you guys know my obsession with like beauty stuff. And I have so much of it. And I think I have almost 100 things in my show. And I could probably do like... 100 beauty shows and still not make a dent in my my stuff so <laughs> if you are interested in beauty i have some makeup i have um some fragrances i have um some skincare there's a little bit of philosophy in there victoria's secret um like i said perfume and just all kinds of stuff so if any of that interests you uh feel free to join me on tuesday on whatnot so yeah Anyway, I'm trying to think if there was anything else I really wanted to touch upon. I told you guys about my My Little Pony buy. I'll have to take it. Next time we're, all of the ponies are over in our storage unit right now. So when I can go over next time, I'll have to like pop, pop a few pictures so I can share them with you. Actually, I might have a couple on my phone. We'll see. I might just add them in here. Um, and then... I think that's everything that I wanted to touch upon. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know um, what you thought down in the comments, how eBay sales are going for you. If you are noticing, noticing the slumpies, let me know. So yeah, I will see you guys next time.